Hi everyone, welcome to today's customer webinar. We'll be talking about Cover Cake, uh, our books as seen on TV service uh, for your library mobile app. My name is Brian. I'm the uh, Director of Account Management here at Boopsie for Libraries. And uh, thanks very much for joining me today. I hope you had a great uh, 4th of July holiday. And um, if any of you attended ALA, hopefully that was, was good too. I didn't make it. This year, I have a, a young two-month-old, uh, two-month-old son, and so uh, not uh, not doing a whole lot of travel right now, but but enjoying uh, being a new dad. So uh, next week's webinar is uh, July 16th, and um, that one's kind of interesting. It's uh, it's about our new uh, partnership with Code Academy, and they have a an app uh, just for iOS devices right now. It's called Hour of Code. And basically, it's a kind of condensed curriculum that teaches users and your your library patron, patrons uh, kind of simple programming basics. So it's kind of an educational but but fun app. Um, I've done it myself, and it and it really only takes about an hour. And it's a free integration we're offering for your library app. Uh, so if you're interested, want to see more, want to see it in action, uh, please check it out next week, uh, July 16th, at the same time. Um, really cool and kind of a new uh, a new type of service we're hoping to do more of more of things like this. Okay, so let's get started. If I, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with our cover cake service, but it um, we've been offering it for a couple of months now. And cover cake, the the company is a Silicon Valley social media company. Um, they're neighbors of ours that uh, we've been talking to for a little while now, um, but they provide libraries with an exclusive books as seen on TV service, and it's um, via a library branded mobile app. Uh, we are Boopsy, We're actually the exclusive reseller of Cover Cake to libraries, kind of similar to how maybe Recorded Books um, sells Zinio, for instance. So and it, it came about because it, it was kind of uh, perfect timing. You know, I've spoken to a lot of our libraries who have expressed interest in a service like like this, similar to this. Um, you know, it's the your patron kind of will ask them about a specific book that they heard about um, on an NPR show or that they watched on 60 Minutes, on Offer on 60 Minutes, or Good Morning America, but they can't remember the title. You know, the author. Um, or, or really anything about it. So it's it's kind of the classic that book is about that thing written by that guy. So Cover Cake is designed to help keep you up with uh, help you keep up with popular media and book trends. And you can think of it a little bit like Shazam for books. You know that app where you just kind of press play and um, while well, a song is playing, it'll tell you what the song is. So it, it, it's a little similar to that along the same lines. Um, and another cool thing, since a few of our libraries have now implemented Cover Cake, I think we've got five total. Um, what they've found, talking to them, is, is some of the interesting. Um, it's, it's really good for uh, library staff members too. So they're actually they will take out their their device, um, and you know somebody asks about sixty minutes, and, they, and you know they look up it through Cover Cake and see it there. So. You know, someone who is in the library asking you about things like this. It's, a, it's another good resource for your for your staff. And here's a quick screenshot, a um, couple screenshots of how it looks in a library mobile app. So Cover Cake is actually a channel. It lives in your app, uh, pref uh, preferably on the home page because I think it's really popular. Um, and it is fed by the Cover Cake Media Library Links uh, API integration. It automatically uh, is refreshed twice a week, so very up to date. And then the lists are linked to your library's ILS. So then it allows your patrons to either download the ebook, uh, place a hold on a physical copy at their local branch. So it, you'll see in a in a minute here it integrates with your ILS, um, so you can see a real time um, catalog uh, information once you look through the Cover Cake channel. There's a couple of uh, you know main benefits. You know it is cool, but um, I, I think there's some practical usage of it, uh, practical benefits as well. So it's really you know it's innovation and circulation. So 
can help really drive SERPs uh, by providing your patrons quick access to books mentioned in their favorite shows. Um, and it also adds you know, a little bit of fun, kind of a fun level of pop culture to your app um, that sometimes you know, people are just interested in and, and really gets people talking. It has talk shows, news shows, popular blogs, uh, book clubs, and bestseller lists. And just kind of an innovative and fun way to answer that popular question, what should I read next? Okay, so York County Libraries was our first customer um, that, to integrate Covercake, uh, and they did it kind of a while back. It is uh, 2013. Uh, York represents 13 different libraries in York County, Pennsylvania, and they really had just tremendous engagement from their community in Covercake. Um, a, you know, a huge amount of usage. So 40 percent of their users have access to the Covercake channel. Uh, which turned out to be the third most popular channel in their app. So it was right after um, my account and the catalog channel. Um, and they chose to actually, after seeing some of these numbers, they, they moved Covercake above the Overdrive channel because of its popularity. And uh, York, you know, talking to York, they, they really think the best benefit is that it brings those tech-savvy mobile users into the libraries. So, you know, someone on their mobile app who may, uh, you know, never come into your library but still use your services, you know, this type of cover kick service, you know, sometimes these books are only available in physical format. So that will bring them into the library and get a kind of a nice um, overlap there. And um, another one of our customers, Flower Mound Public Library in Texas, uh, has added cover cake. They added it a couple of months ago now. Um, and they've also had, you know, really nice engagement. Uh, just added it in May. Already, they're their most popular channel uh, as well within the app. They've had more users, more queries than their OverDrive channel since they added it. And uh, you know, looking at the the numbers for Flower Mound, you can see uh, not only that is the Cover Cake channel itself really popular, but you can see their catalog searches have gone up almost uh, double. Because as you'll see in a second in the demo, when you click on an item mentioned on one of these TV shows or, or radio programs or, or any book lists, uh, you'll actually be you know, taken to your library app catalog. Um, and so it, it really increase those catalog searches and then drive, you know, of course, circulations and, and app usage overall. Okay, I wanted to just run through, before I actually do a, a quick live demo, I'll run through some screenshots of how it looks in New York. Here's their home page, and they do have Cover Cake, and there's also a New York Times bestseller channel that comes with Cover Cake. And here are some of the TV shows mentioned at the top, 60 Minutes, Colbert, Good Morning America, Daily Show. Um, and then once you click, this is from the NPR Fresh Air channel, once you click on the, uh, the channel, you can see uh, the, the books mentioned most recently right away. So kind of some interesting books as you know, mentioned on NPR um, and, and as well as popular ones like Michael Lewis, Michael Lewis's new book, Flash Boys. Uh, and when you click on one of those, uh, one of those titles, the first one, and then this library doesn't have My Boyfriend Barked in My Handbag, um, but the, an option for you is to either uh, include a request to purchase library. So some of our libraries that have cover cake um, don't have that ability, but it'll just say, you know, go into your library or request a copy at your library. But York actually has a request a purchase form. So once you click on, uh, you know, library has no matching copies, click here to request a purchase. You go to the form and then you can fill out the appropriate information and, and your library will receive that. Um, and I'll show you what uh, Flower Mound does as well. So, uh, but when you do click on a book like Flash Boys that the library does have a, a match for, it does match the ISBN in the catalog, you can just click on uh, Flash Boys there and it will take you to the uh, appropriate uh, item in the, the catalog. So let me just actually show you how that works because um, I think it is pretty neat and um, just to actually see the live demonstration will, will probably help that a little bit. So just bear me, with me for one second here and I'll bring that up.
Okay, and in a second here, you should be able to see my screen, which uh, I'm just uh, mirroring the, this iPod Touch on my laptop here. And this is the Flower Mound Public Library's uh, homepage on their mobile app. And they have Cover Cake. And they added a different icon for New York Times bestsellers, um, which uh, I, I believe we created that for them. But you know, you can kind of create one yourself as well if you if you prefer something else or use something like this. Um, and so you can see they, they have it pretty high. So they have catalog, their account, their um, they have OverDrive and Freedom Cloud Library, uh, one click digital, I believe, and then their book book scanner. And once you click on Cover Cake, it brings you right to the TV show. So we'll browse those quickly, you know, popular news shows, uh, morning shows are obviously, they, they have a lot of authors. There's a few awards and prizes here that, um, you know, you want to, your patrons want to search the Pulitzer Prize, uh, most latest Pulitzer Prize books. So radio shows, obviously NPR uh, always has a lot of authors and, and talks about a lot of books. So I think that's, that's actually how I find most of my, uh, my books, if it's not recommendation by recommendations by family or friends. Um, hear a lot about it on NPR. Um, and then a few book club blogs and then those the New York Times bestseller list as well. Um, so we check out some of these. If you check out Bill Moyers, you can see um, you know there's a lot of uh, yeah, economics uh, books about uh, economics and politics uh, on his show. And I wanted to click on this, uh, the first one there is Susan Crawford book because uh, it's not included in the Flower Mound catalog. And they don't have a form to request a purchase, but what they have done is added an email request. So you click on uh, email to you know, request, it, it just goes right to the library, and um, you can see it's, it, all the forms are already filled out. So you just need to click send, and then the ISBN title is all there, and the library um, will get that right away. So that's just a really easy kind of alternative um, if your library doesn't have that particular title. But if we go to uh, something they do have, you'll see how it, how it um, integrates with the catalog. John Green was on Cold Fair last month and talking about his, his book just turned into a movie, of course. Um, and there's a couple matches uh, that for different formats of the uh, Fault in Our Stars. And if you click on the hardcover, it will take you to the detail page uh, right in the, the catalog search. So just like you would doing a simple catalog search, uh, you'll, you'll see the detail page here. and um, Be able to uh, close the hold on one of these copies and send to your local branch. Um, and it's just that easy. So it's real nice. It integrates real time with your ILS. And you'll be able to, um, it, it does get updated every couple weeks, as I said. So it's, um, uh, very up to date. It's a, just a nice feature, and it and it works really well. And I I think it'll be a, a, a very nice addition to your your mobile app. Okay, and the pricing is pretty easy. It's uh, we're, we're also doing subscription pricing, um, just as an addendum to your current mobile app contract. And we'll just do just do a one year contract. It's um, the pricing is based on population served, so feel free to uh, email us or email me if you want to hear your your exact pricing for your library. And uh, there's no integration fee for the uh, app itself or for the channel integration itself. So we'll totally waive that uh, for this for 2014 at least, as it's kind of our our launch uh, year with Cover Cake, and then. Um, there, there is some chance that the pricing could go up just because of the um, the, the heavy tech uh, back end stuff um, uh, for cover cake and our team. But um, if any of you are interested, just let me know and we can lock that in through August and, and probably September as well, just depending on your budget cycle. Um, and as I said, just an addendum to your current contract, really easy. I could send it over if you're interested, and it can't hurt if you think it's uh, a good addition. I can send you the the addendum, and then you know you could get that going. You know, whenever the, the the money came up in the next you know year or two, however you want, um, however you want to do it. Okay, and so a little unrelated to, to cover cake, I wanted to mention if if you haven't heard about our new Comics Plus Library Edition service, I thought uh, I would at least uh, mention it to you, um, and I'm happy to send you some um, 
more information about Comics Plus Library Edition. But we're just really excited about this new partnership uh, for digital comics, graphic novels, and manga series. And uh, uh, we really think um, libraries, there will be huge value to libraries. So a uh, huge search generator, uh, comics, graphic novels are, are the hottest title, the hottest section of, of your library. Um, and Comics Plus Library Edition has uh, some unique features. So um, as opposed to some of the other uh, uh, vendors who offer digital comics graphic novels, this is simultaneous checkout, so you don't have to wait uh, for someone to, to turn or for someone to turn in the, the comic. Um, you can have as many users checking out as many comics at the same time as possible. And it works not only on your Bootsy library mobile app, but also on your desktop. So you'll just get a lot of users that way. It is the, the integration is free for your Bootsy Library mobile app, um, but they can also uh, read on their desktop. So it's, it works, looks really great on a tablet. Um, and there's more information on our website about that. So just go to Bootsy.com if you have any questions. A nice, you know, frequently uh, FAQ page on there, and we're just we're really excited about it. Okay, um, so that's all the time we have today. But thank you very much for uh, joining me. As I said, uh, next week we're going to be um, talking about Code Academy, so the Hour of Code training, um, which is a free integration in your library mobile app. So please check out the webinar, and then uh, we'd be happy to get you started um, testing that Hour of Code integration. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, I think. You know, if you do want a demo cover cake to your patrons, um, you can go to uh, york.bootsy.com, y-o-r-k.bootsy.com to uh, to demo cover cake, and um, you can pretty much see everything that I showed you there in real time. You can either just uh, check it out on our website or um, uh, down, you know, download their free app to your device um, to test that out. And um, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but it is only does only work in uh, mobile, only for your, your mobile app. It doesn't actually work on your website. So that can really boost your app's usage and, and downloads. And then um, if you do get started, we can also provide you with some great marketing materials. So uh, you know, you'll really want to you know, promote this as a new feature of your mobile app. Okay, great. Well, if uh, you don't have any questions, um, just feel free to email me anytime. And as I said, I'll be happy to send you know a quick addendum with just some pricing information um, for you to have um, whenever you're ready. Um, and then if you have any other questions about the the integration, please let me know. And thanks so much. Have a great rest of your week.